Hello everybody, it's the Warrior today. I came to you live from Denver and uh, what we're going to be discussing today is about uh, Freightliner M2-106 and what it's doing, or what it was doing last week. So, join me, shall you? But uh, last week, I was uh, driving the truck and the uh, thing been running really good after I had the EGR cooler and all that put on. You know, it was running re really well. And then suddenly, it's like I was running really hard one day. Like Monday, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. And uh, things started sputtering and act like it was gonna die. Just didn't have any power and uh, wouldn't go. So I'm like, crap, you know? It's like, what the heck is wrong with this thing? I'm like, I just been, I'm sinking money into this truck, and it, it's like it's one thing after the next. So, and I did some research, you know, called my mechanic, and uh, I kind of thought I knew what it was uh, before I called him, but I just had to get a second opinion. So I just uh, wasn't sure. So let's go show you what it is. But uh, I've owned this truck for about two years, and uh, I've, I've did an old change, a few old changes to it, you know, basic things like new tires and stuff like that. And uh, but there's a couple things I didn't do, and I'll show you what that is. Let's see, I don't know how to turn this screen around, but we'll figure it out right now. So I was looking around this thing to figure out what. Uh, what could be wrong with this thing? The reason why it's not running because my first assumption was maybe uh, maybe I got a bad injector or something. But the truck wasn't smoking at all. You know, it, trucks never really smoked, and that's the, usually the first determination if maybe if you have a bad injector or something because it's it's burning really rich and it will actually it'll put out black smoke. And that's what usually lets you know that maybe you have a failed injector or something like that. But but I thought, I'm like, wait a minute, I've, I've never replaced the fuel filter in this thing. And uh, so I was looking around and I found out that this, this here, that's the fuel filter. This is a uh, MBE 900 2006 Freightliner. And that's the screen. That's the fuel filter screen that goes in there. And that's the fuel filter itself. So, uh. Yeah, decided. Well, I'm gonna take a chance. Fuel filter is thirty-five dollars. I think the uh, the fuel and water separator it was like fifty-one dollars. And I think the fuel and water separator goes right here. Now I was just on the driver's side a second ago, but now I'm on the passenger side over here. And if you look right down in there, this is a Mercedes engine. But if you look right down there, uh, that's your fuel. That's your fuel and water separator right there. That's where that that one filter goes for your for your motor so on the passion side right down below your your uh, hose for your radiator right there that'd be that but I took the uh, I took the filter out and you wouldn't believe what it looks like here check it out tell me what you think so what I did was I went to Napa and uh, got this uh, got the filters right here and the filter I got for the uh, the MBE 900 is the gold filter by Napa. It's 3634 fuel filter, and I uh, went and got that my oil or my fuel water separator and the uh, the screen that goes in before it gets to the to the filter here. But, uh, I want to show you what this thing looks like. I think I've put like 50,000 miles on this truck. Never once replaced the the uh, fuel filter on it and uh, I guess I'm a terrible truck owner uh, I don't know but here I pulled this thing out and I don't know if you can see it in the light or not but uh but just look let's see here let me see if I can see if I can get you to see it here but yeah I don't think you can squeeze light through that thing it's so black 
And you can see that uh, there's a couple spots on here that uh, it actually looked like it was blowing out just so because it was it was starving for fuel and it was trying to get fuel. So that's why that was what what was causing the uh, the stuttering and all that. Truck wouldn't go, it wouldn't move, and uh, yeah, that was it. And these right, these things just pop, usually pop in and pop out. They're really easy to replace, you know. So if you ever, if you ever get a uh, a problem or an issue like that with your truck, it's always good to uh, to you know evaluate it, see what you got and where you stand and how much it's going to cost. So everybody. If uh, you're having issues with your truck, it's always a good idea to, uh, you know, scope it out, kind of try to find out what the problem is, because, you know, this fix right here could have been, it could have cost me thousands of dollars to fix this thing if I would have just said, hey, it's my injectors. You know, my injectors are bad. Let's just get it swapped out and, uh, and go from there. But, uh. As y'all know, I've, I've spent quite a few dollars on this truck, and well, thirty-five dollars—that's a—that's a cheap fix, you know. But always scan your your problem, try to find out what the problem is, where it's coming from, and uh, you know, it's always a good idea to get two or three different uh, ask two, two or three different people for advice, get other people's opinions. It could save you a lot of money in the long run. And until next time, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and God bless. Until next time, we'll see you then.